Uh, this client inherited a very disastrous situation. Hey, what's up guys? It's Mark from Premier here. Today we're going to be following an exploratory cleaning. Now when we perform an exploratory cleaning, it means it's a water feature we've never seen before and this one clearly has a lot of problems. There's a ton of muck and we have a suspicion that there's a leak somewhere. So step one, drain and clean. We start by completely draining this pond. We're going to go ahead and shop vac all the muck out, rinse it down and power wash it. We want this thing looking beautiful, there you go, before we start step two, the investigation process. Now that this pond's polished, we're going to start looking for that leak and I think Roger found it. It looks like the plumbing's leaking way up here too, look at that. So Roger found a leak up by the waterfall, it's spewing water everywhere. George also had some findings when it comes to the electrical work here, and now they're going to talk about the problems we found. Hey guys, this is Roger with Premier Ponds. We are in the nation's capital today. We just cleaned this pondless. There was a host of issues with this one, stemming from electrical problems with the uh, outlet not being up to code. We also had plumbing that was shooting water everywhere because it was full of holes. We had uh, a leaky stream as well, and it hadn't been touched in many years, so a lot of leaves and muck in there too. Right now we're in a situation where we just fired up the pond to test it out at the end, and there is a pretty rapid leak coming right here. Uh, we have to think that it's coming from the plumbing just based on how it looks right here, but yeah, it's uh, leaking fast, so we got to make sure we do something about it. Hi everyone, this is Georgie! Ha <laughs> ha! Wednesday with the nation capital. Um, we're over here to clean the pond, and I find out that they got a lot of issues with the electrical, which is not good and it's very dangerous. And guys, let me tell you something. Look how bad it is. Pretty, pretty bad. We got water and everything around it. It's not even ready for outside. It's not even protected by GFCI, by code. It needs to be protected by GFCI with a bubble cover. And at least you need to go maybe like a foot up. So that in terms of water or anything, you can get into it. And also when we look at the deck, we find out that there's a cable that's behind the deck that is not even stable, which is not good too. So we talk about doing all that and everything to make the customer happy and also safety. Because if you have an outlet that below ground like that, not even protected by the GFCI, it's rain, we get snow and then everything, people can get shot and not good. So Premier Pond is here to make it happen for everybody to be happy. <laughs> So as you guys heard, there's a lot of problems with this water feature. As Roger explained, the pipes burst somewhere near the top of the waterfall and now it's leaking. And as George explained, this electrical work is not up to code. That outlet needs to be raised higher so it's not a shock hazard. And a lot of other work needs to be done to make sure this thing's safe. Guys, we are here uh, wrapping up this cleaning and DC, not every single problem with the pond can be fixed with one cleaning. And we ran into that today. This was a pond that the client that signed up with us, inherited from their uh, the, from the past homeowner, and there was trouble with electrical, with leaks, with uh, plumbing, you name it. It was all there, and it was a very dirty pond. At the end of the cleaning, basically made an assessment on how to fix that electrical, so George is gonna handle that, and we tried our very darndest to uh, fix all the leaks that were in the plumbing and in the stream, but ultimately, uh, this is what the plumbing looks like, and it is not good, not graded for ponds at all you can very easily rip it apart so this should not be used and unfortunately we wish we could be running the feature right now but uh we can't do that because of the electrical issues and the plumbing issues that still remain even after the cleaning so we're gonna have to come back to this one there's a bit of unfinished business but it can still be premier so we educated our client on the various ways we'd fix this water feature he was good to go through with the solutions so we're gonna head on back to chevy chase maryland completely drain this pond george is gonna work his electrical magic and we're gonna go ahead and install new pipes and make this water feature premiere so the first thing we're gonna do is remove all that rock and strip out that old pipe luckily it was pretty easy to do this because the pipe is so worn and weak we also went ahead and removed the old pump and now sam's gonna break down why we did this hey, what's up guys here we've got the uh the old plumbing and the old pump as you can see with all the duct tape on it, they pretty much suck. You can also see all these holes, all the indents in this. It's just real beat up. Such a shame, but at least we got it up and running and fixed. So with the old infrastructure out of our way, we can start adding our new pipe. This is two inch flex PVC, super durable stuff. It's gonna run from the top of the waterfall down to the pump in the bottom there. And Sam is working on the ball valve connection. This essentially affects the pressure of your waterfall. And now let's take a look at what we got. 
So, we're almost done with the uh, the project that we just had. So we took out their old plumbing. It had a bunch of holes in it, like through some by animals or something like that. So we just ran our own two-inch plumbing. It's much uh, much more durable than the old plumbing, so no animals should be able to chew through it, and it just runs straight up there. Got the pump and the plumbing up and running, as you can see. The waterfall is looking great. Right now, we're just trying to carry out the, the finer details, make sure everything looks pretty. And yeah, once we get the hill looking like it was before, then we're all done. So there you have it. Here's a look at our final product. As you guys can see, this thing is looking gorgeous. And you might be wondering, hey, what's Roger doing with this phone? We love to make a recording for our clients that gives an overview of how we improved your water feature and what to expect going forward. This thing's looking beautiful. Consider how it looked when we first saw it. Went from a complete mess of sludge to now a fully functional, gorgeous waterfall cascade. It's a backyard paradise and it's Premier. Hey guys, this is Roger with Premier Ponds. We have returned to this pond. You guys saw the video from about a week ago. We were here before. Uh, this client inherited a very disastrous situation. Plumbing was full of holes all throughout the run of it, and it was spraying water everywhere and leaking, so they couldn't run their waterfall. It was a shame. Uh, and then their electrical outlet was literally a, a dangerous situation. It was falling apart, and it was sunken so low into the ground like this that any water runoff or any splatter from the pond could potentially create a, uh, a high voltage situation where if you were to step into the pond, you could get shocked and potentially die. They had George come out and fix that up, make sure that that is professional grade. You can see that the outlet is a lot higher now, so nobody gets shocked. And then what I'm here to do today is just like George did with making that professional grade, we are going to make their pump and plumbing situation professional grade. Previously, it was just a DIY setup. Uh, that was not actually meant for long-term use. So we're going to set them up so that their waterfall can be running continuously and they can have a great feature in their backyard. And that's why we love our exploratory process. Here's the water feature when we first saw it two weeks ago and now after just two visits, we've taken it from broken pipes and muck to an absolute backyard paradise. So if you've got a water feature that needs saving, I know just the company.